Hello and welcome. My name is Logan Penny, and this is a quick video on fixing Kitbash 3D textures when they're coming in looking really bad or looking like an 8-bit video game. Let's jump right in, launch Cargo, and have it ready to go in a Unreal Engine project. For this example, I'm going to use an asset from the Neighborhood Shops. I've already downloaded it. It is the vending machine. I went ahead and downloaded the 4K PNG. Now I'm gonna hit import. Here it is. The vending machine has popped in at the world zero. And it looks great. I can even zoom right in and read those labels if I wanted to. I can check the calorie count on those cans. Everything looks crisp and it, it looks like a very nice vending machine asset, okay? Mini Mart fresh fruits and vegetables. I can even see some dings and scuffs on the machine. Okay, great quality, looking really good. And then what happens is somewhere along the lines, you find a tutorial called virtual textures. Oh, I need to do that. I need to use that. You don't know what it is though, but you've enabled it anyways. So let's pretend I did that. I watched a video by somebody uh, who told me that virtual texturing is exactly what I need and why, uh, and that's irrelevant. So let's go to our project settings and type in virtual, and we're gonna see that in the engine rendering category under virtual textures, if I enable virtual texture support, and now we're gonna need a restart, but by default, I want you to read the next row down, enable virtual texture on texture import. What does that actually mean? That means that anything else that you bring in to your project, including something from Cargo, will have virtual textures automatically set up on it, despite the fact that the master material and the material instances might not be set up to actually work with virtual texturing. And that is actually the case with Kitbash assets. They are not set up to work with virtual textures and runtime virtual textures, RVTs. So let's go ahead and import something else and see what it looks like. Now the vending machine, I have restarted. The vending machine will maintain the high quality. We can read all of the small print here and the numbers on the barcode very easily. And it's a high quality 4K PNG texture. I'm going to now grab a, another asset, candy dispenser. I love candy. I have a sweet tooth. It's a problem. Let's download it and import it into the level. And let's see how our candy dispenser stacks up against our vending machine. Well, the labels aren't so bad, but the candy looks like absolute trash. What is that even? I'm not sure what that is. Let's demonstrate that with another asset. Now I'm gonna use a bigger asset from the retail store collection, record store. I have a 4K JPEG version of this asset, or 263 megabytes, importing it. Remember, we do have the virtual textures enabled. This one might take a moment, it's a larger mesh. All right, we have a record store brought in here. Let's check it out. You can't actually distinguish anything. None of the words uh, looks really, really bad. Why is that? It looks 8-bit, what's going on? I'm gonna select the blueprint pick this element and open up the material. And we can actually look at the textures and see that they are bad. And reason being is when I open up the actual texture and type in virtual, you'll see that virtual texture streaming is turned on. Uh, and this looks great inside of the texture, but then why does it look so bad here? This material is not actually set up, the master is not set up to use virtual texture support. You can even see here in the bottom corner, it says VT for virtual texture. If you see an RVT, that's for runtime virtual texture. Kipash materials are not set up for virtual textures. This is not a demonstration on how to set up virtual texturing within Kipash. If that's something that you would like, please ask Kipash uh, for that tutorial. How do we correct this? It's simple. You either build the virtual texture material or you go back to your project settings and you go under your rendering tab, scroll down 
if you want to continue using virtual textures, disable enable virtual texture on import. But I actually don't want either one of them. It will ask me for a restart. Let's restart it now. Do we want to save? Yes, we do. We are back. I've restarted the editor. We do not have virtual texture support on. And when I go back into my map, we can automatically see that even the candy is back to being uh, nice and crisp with the images. Uh, the scale might be off. Those are some very large uh, mini eggs. Um, but all of the information is properly displayed for all of the album art that was completely blurred out and not legible at all. Now we can see, we can even read the fine print here. You know, number, number five, astronaut. There you go. I can even see the small print here. Read all the numbers. Same with inside, everything looks completely fine now. So if you run into this problem, then just understand that you have, by accident, left on, I'm gonna turn that on, you'll see restart now, I'm not doing that, but you have left this on. So maybe you do have materials that have proper virtual texture support enabled, but the Kipash ones do not. So please disable that or disable the virtual textures completely when using Cargo and the other Kipash elements. I hope you found this video helpful and that you no longer have issues with your textures inside of your Kitbash kits. Bye now.